We're in the early morning hours of December 4th, 1912, with an account of a fire, a church, and a remarkable rescue. At 6.06 a.m., a fire broke out in the basement library, the regular meeting room of the Knights of Columbus Smoking Club of St. Philip Neri Roman Catholic Church in the Bronx, New York. A passerby seeing the flames raised the alarm by ringing the meal bell of the adjoining clerical refectory. Minutes later, a crowd of neighborhood gawkers gathered on the street below as the New York Fire Department assembled on Grand Boulevard and the concourse opposite to East 202nd Street. Deputy Fire Chief Barrett mobilized his crew in the rear of the building and they began the work of containing the now raging inferno. At 8.21 a.m., Chief Barrett instructed his men that due to the fire being fully involved and fully developed, no one was allowed to enter the church. The likelihood of surviving inside St. Philip Neri Church was now approaching zero. Thanks be to God, no one was inside. Suddenly, two priests were seen rushing from the adjoining rectory. These men were Father Daniel Burke and Father Joseph Congedo. Struggling through the sea of first responders, the men charged into their beloved chapel, disappearing into the smoky interior of the ill-fated facade. No one expected them to return. Miraculously, moments later, the two priests emerged Father Burke bearing an object wrapped in a handkerchief, and Father Congedo at his side with lit candle in hand. What was it that these two men risked their lives to save? What was this thing? Bread. Please. Tell me this wasn't just about bread. Two priests run back in, into a burning building to rescue the Eucharist while everyone else is running out. I mean, it's crazy, right? But maybe not. Maybe it's the most sane thing they could have done. Third century Roman Empire. Tarsicius, a 12-year-old boy, living during the time of the Roman persecutions. Tarsicius was sent out with the Eucharist to give to Christians condemned to death. Along the way, he was stopped by a group of boys. They discovered he was Christian and became anxious to see what he was holding. Tarsicius refused. The gang became enraged, beating him so he would give up his holy mysteries. He never did. He was beaten to death. 1581, England. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, it was considered an act of treason to say the Mass. To make matters worse, there was a bounty on the head of any priest. Heedless of these conditions, Edmund Campion, an Englishman, seeing his countrymen deprived of the Holy Eucharist, traveled on foot and in secret to Rome to join the Jesuits. He was soon caught, imprisoned in the Tower of London, tortured, hanged, drawn, and quartered. 1900s, China. In the Chinese countryside, soldiers were in the process of destroying a small Catholic church. The priest was arrested, the tabernacle stolen, and the sacred hosts were strewn across the floor. A small girl, whom no one noticed in the back of the church, witnessed the desecration and saw where these 32 sacred hosts had landed. For each of the next 32 nights, she snuck past the guards back into the church, prayed in front of the Eucharist, and consumed them one by one. On the last night, 
After the girl had received the final Eucharist, she accidentally woke the guard. He chased her down and beat her to death. 1224, Assisi, Italy. Claire, foundress of the poor Claire religious order, received word that the army of Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor, was bearing down on her convent, leaving in its wake a trail of horrific pillaging. Claire went out to face the invading army with nothing more than the Eucharist in her hands. She raised the host high into the air, praying God to save her convent. The invading army was gripped with fear and fled without harming a single soul. These are just a few of the countless stories throughout the history of the church of people showing great devotion, sacrifice, and love for this simple bit of bread. What is it about this humble food that leads people to do such heroic, amazing things? Maybe it isn't just about bread. So what do Catholics believe 